Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how and why I did yoga for 90 days straight. Now, I think the majority of my subscribers do already know that I use yoga as my primary form of exercise, but this is actually sort of a recent change. I really got into developing a consistent yoga practice this past May, and I've really been wanting to make this video for a very long time because I get a lot of questions from you guys on how I started yoga, why I do yoga, what my favorite type of yoga to do is, etc. So I thought I would walk you guys through it and sort of share my story with you. So taking it back to May, I had just moved down here to Miami to start graduate school and I was sort of looking for a new form of exercise and I had just graduated from undergrad and while I was in undergrad I was doing a mix of cardio based high intensity interval training combined with weightlifting and I would do yoga like three to four times a month, like maybe once a week, but it wasn't very um, consistent. And I also didn't really put a lot of thought into the practice to me. It was a challenge, but it wasn't really a spiritual exercise as well as a physical one. However, by the end of my graduation, I noticed that my body was just feeling really exhausted. And even though I was taking rest days and I wasn't exerting myself too much, I could just sort of tell that, you know, my joints weren't as feeling as great as they used to. And I was not sleeping as well. And I was a lot more sore. And my body was kind of just telling me that it wanted a break from all of the super intense cardio based exercise. And also when I came to Miami, I didn't really have access to a full gym initially, so I couldn't do the workouts that I was doing in school. So instead of getting upset about it, I sort of took it as a learning experience. And I thought to myself that I was always interested in yoga and I had always wanted to develop a practice further and sort of get better at it. So I thought to myself, why don't I just try doing yoga for a little while? And that's basically how I started doing yoga. Now, for those of you who don't know, I do not go to a yoga studio. I do all of my own yoga here at home in the comfort of my own room. Right there is where I lay my mat. And when I initially started, I did not have to pay a single penny for it. And the trick to that is finding yoga videos on YouTube. Most of you probably have done a yoga video on YouTube and I think it's just an excellent resource because you can really get in tune with yoga and develop your own sort of personal practice and get an initial exposure to yoga without the hefty price tag of like 20 to 25 dollars per class that most studios charge. I also think it's a really great way to get to know yoga because there are different types of yoga and you may like one type versus another one and YouTube is a really great way to find that out as well. So one of my favorite yoga channels on YouTube I have been following for a while and the name of it is Fight Master Yoga. And Leslie Fightmaster, I think, just has the most amazing, soothing voice, and I really like her style of teaching. She does a more vinyasa style flow. And I had always noticed that she had this 90-day yoga challenge on her channel whenever I would sporadically do a video, more formally called the 90-day fix. And the reason why it's named this is it takes 90 days to form a healthy habit. So she created a playlist of 90 different yoga videos, one for every single day for a consecutive 90 days. And hopefully by the end, you would be more in tune with your body and maybe be motivated to incorporate yoga into your everyday life. So I sort of stumbled upon this playlist more thoroughly and actually looked into it once I moved down to Miami and I was like, hey, I do really like her classes. I think they are pretty challenging and you know, why not just give it a shot? If I don't like it, there's no obligation to go through with the whole 90 days. However, I absolutely fell in love with the class and her teaching style, and I did yoga for 90 days straight. And so basically for 90 days, her yoga videos were the majority of my exercise. Some days, if the video was a little shorter, I would do some extra exercises after the video, and I also ride my bike to class and back, but other than that, I was not doing any planned physical activity. So that being said, I sort of wanted to give a review of the 90 day yoga fix and let you guys guys have a little bit more insight into it to see if it was maybe something that you guys want to start doing. So I feel like most people when they think of yoga they just equate it to stretching and I want to tell you I did not just stretch for 90 days. People seem to think that yoga is just relaxing and while certain styles of yoga are completely restorative and relaxing that is not the case for this program. You will most certainly be challenged and I would say 
for 90% of the videos, I broke a sweat while doing them. And I think that's a wonderful thing. You know, people always think that you have to run on a treadmill or lift some weights in order to do exercise. But yoga is a great way to get exercise in. And some of her flows are more cardio based. So you can still get a cardio workout while doing yoga. Like, did I just blow your mind? Now that being said, I do think that this 90 day program may not be the best one for someone who is a complete beginner to yoga because it does incorporate some more difficult yoga poses and postures throughout the program. If you're a completely new beginner to yoga, Leslie Fight Master also has a 30 day yoga challenge for beginners, so I would maybe consider doing that before doing this program. But either way, if you do start this program, you will definitely progress by the end. I don't know if you all are familiar with some yoga poses, but personally for me, I always had struggles with Bakasana or Crow Pose, and when I first started the program, I could like maybe hold it for half a second, but by the end of it, my Bakasana was really strong, and I was able to incorporate it into more like daily flows and not have to put that much effort into it. However, I also think Leslie does a really great job, and you're not constantly strenuously working out for every single day. She does incorporate rest days into the program, so every seventh video or so there will be a yoga class that is more dedicated to meditation or is all restorative poses and is really not as physically challenging in order to give your body and your mind a way to relax Another thing that I really appreciate about this program is that it cultivated a more mindful awareness in me almost naturally. At the end of every practice, Leslie will give you an inspiring quote by some author. And the authors tend to vary, but I think in the beginning of the program, she tends to focus more on gratitude and the focus of the quotes genuinely shifts throughout the program. And these mindfulness quotes were actually one of my favorite parts of the yoga practice. I did my daily practice in the mornings and they really set the tone for the entire day and actually I really fell in love with some of the authors and because of that I purchased their books and I have been so much more into different mindfulness practice ever since starting this journey. Like I mentioned I got some of those books and I'm reading them more for pleasure and I've also started to meditate and just cultivate a larger sense of mindfulness and awareness and gratitude throughout my day and I do attribute a lot of that to the yoga practice. I do think yoga is amazing but I also think it's been really neat to see how my journey through my yoga practice has affected and inspired other parts of my life as well. So that being said, I honestly would 100% recommend this program to anyone. I think it's absolutely wonderful and it's great that it's completely free. So you could definitely just give it a shot. You know, what do you have to lose? That being said, even if you're not interested in the 90 day fix, I think that everyone should at least give yoga a try and try to make it a consistent practice in your lifestyle because it is so many wonderful effects. And if you're brand new to yoga, you can totally experiment and look for different yoga channels that are here on the internet. I personally really, really love Fight Master Yoga and I think Leslie is an amazing teacher, but there are a lot of other YouTubers out there who have their own professional styles that you might like more. So you can definitely experiment and if you find one yoga video that doesn't work for you, I don't think you should give up then. I definitely think you should try a few different channels, try some different styles, and just really try to commit to the practice. I feel like spending 30 minutes to an hour with yourself every day in a mindful form of exercise has just worked wonders for my mindfulness, my overall awareness, and just my sense of calmness and well-being. I notice when a stressful situation is thrown at me, I am so much more likely to respond to it in a level-headed manner now. And in addition to that, I just think yoga is so awesome. I am so much more flexible now. Um, now that I've actually dedicated myself to it, I can do some cool postures and poses that I would have never even dreamed that I would be able to do. And the thing that I like about yoga is that it's a self-practice and you're really not comparing yourself to anyone else. You're only comparing how you were a few months ago, a few days ago, to how you are today. Personally, I don't really like group exercise classes where I'm looking at everyone else in the room. I really like yoga because it's just me and my mat and my mind. And I love when you are just focused on yourself and your own practice. There is always room for improvement, but at the same time, there's not really a pressure to improve every single time you practice. You know, you develop an understanding about your body and how your body is fluid and it will change from day to day and 
one day may be awesome and one day may be not as great and you may not be as flexible but it's all part of the journey and yoga has definitely taught me to appreciate that journey versus appreciating a certain end aesthetic goal or a certain time that I need to have on my mile and I just think that yoga was exactly what I needed as a break from intense exercise and at this point in my life I feel completely fulfilled and happy with my yoga practice and I don't really want to incorporate any other type of exercise in I feel like I'm moving my body enough I'm in tune with my body I feel healthy I feel vibrant I feel happy and I think that's what's important in life you know you don't want to go to the gym and hate having to go and work out you know you want to do something you love and that you're passionate about and I'm really glad that I took this time to focus on yoga and see if it really was right for me and I definitely think it is and I may incorporate other forms of exercise sometime in the future but I think for right now and for the near future i will definitely be including yoga so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments below what you think of yoga and if you're going to start incorporating it into your lifestyle which i think you should so yeah thank you all so much for watching i do really appreciate it if you're not subscribed to my channel be sure to click that little red button and you can join in for all of this video fun and i will talk to you guys in the next video Bye.